Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to talk about how I got my company on a Times Square billboard, which you could do as well for less than $20, which is the equivalent of about 17 pounds. I'm gonna break down exactly why I did it, how I did it, what the benefit has been, and show you the entire process from start to finish. It was an incredibly exciting experience to see our business after all these years up on a billboard in Times Square for everyone in that area to see. So it was a really cool moment. We got photos of it and video of it. Let's get into today's video. And if you don't already, make sure that you subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you actually get notified when we upload new videos. Make sure to follow me on social media as well. And let's get on with it. So why did this all come about? Well, first of all, I saw a post by an author called David Gadar, and he'd managed to get his book up on a Times Square billboard, and I thought that was incredibly fascinating. How did he do it? Because he's an independent author, it wasn't funded by a traditional publishing company, and that's what got me looking into the process. I have a little visitor here. Want to say hello? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, have you brought me some really important things? That it's, it's for delivery. That is something that Luna has dragged in from the garden. Is it poo? No, actually it's not poo. It's just a bit of plastic that she's somehow got hold of. The dog's going mad. This is how hard it is to get any work done. So David Kadabi had managed to get his book up on a Times Square billboard and what was really interesting about his story is it wasn't just about the billboard but then how he had leveraged the billboard he managed to get a retweet from Tim Ferriss to Tim Ferriss has nearly two million followers so off the back of this marketing plan he managed to generate a lot of interest even more of course than just the initial ad on the billboard. So that's the inception of the idea. Why did I do it? I think this is a phenomenal opportunity. My take is always to find attention that is undervalued or underpriced. So years ago, that was Twitter. You could post on Twitter. It was easy to follow people, engage. I think it's coming back that way. You have Instagram, where of course, it's now very hard to access your audience because really they want you to pay to access your audience. So what I'm always looking for is where can I go and advertise a book, a business, or any service or product where it's not going to cost the earth or where I'm going to get the most value for the money I'm spending. And right now, I think this is a huge opportunity that is massively underpriced. So now that I've explained a bit of the backstory, I'm gonna dig into exactly how I did this. So I'm gonna take you through step by step how I did it. So the first thing I did is I signed up to a website, it's called blipbillboards.com. And what you can do on this website is you can go and you can create, of course, a billboard. The first thing that you do is you go and choose where you want that billboard to be. Now, at the time of making this video, they're just available in the US from what I could see. So all across the US, you can put in either a specific location or you can you know, type in a city and search around to find the billboards and they actually tell you where the billboards are. You can select a range of different billboards. For me personally, I just focused on the Times Square billboard. So I went and selected that one specifically. The next thing to do is to actually set a budget. So they'll allow you to set a daily budget. You can do this from as little as $20 a day. And basically what they're doing is you're bidding on blips as they call them. So they're little 15 second flashes of your advert. But really when you think about it, that's enough because they're being repeated constantly throughout the hour, throughout the day. So you wanna set an amount of money that you're happy to spend on a daily basis. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you go ahead and choose the schedule. So the schedule on Blip is a little bit confusing. And so I wanna break down exactly how it works. So what you get is you get a schedule and you can then select the days and the hours where you would like to start bidding for your advert to appear. 
One quick note to add here is that the, the time, so the times that you see, you know, of course, from when they start, 6 a.m. all the way through till midnight, I think they run 24 hours, that is the local time of the billboard. So if you chose New York, it'll be the local time in New York. And then the next thing is you have three options. You'll see them to the right um, of the schedule and you'll have like a minty green color, you then have a grass green color, and then you have a much deeper, darker green. And what those are is you can set these minimum bids. So you can have $20, which is your mint green. You can have, um, you know, let's say $30, which is the grass green color. And then the really dark green, you could have $40 or more. And so what I did is I went through and selected the times, you know, when I really wanted an ad to appear, say at lunchtime, I would be prepared to bid higher for that. And then when, you know, it was times I wasn't too concerned by maybe 3 p.m. or something like that, I would just, you know, drop my bid right down because if I got uh, some exposure then for a, for a low price, I was happy with that, but I didn't want to overspend for times that weren't peak times or when there were going to be a lot of people, you know, in that area and hopefully noticing the advert. The next thing you need is the artwork. So on Blip, they actually give you the dimensions that you need. As you go through the process there, you'll see it written down. So they tell you the height that you need and of course the width that you need. What I actually did is I just went and used our regular designer and gave them the, the dimensions. I told her what we were looking for and she of course mocked up the design that you would have seen in some of the B-roll throughout uh, this video. You can, they do also have a way to design the billboards in their app, but they're very, very basic. They're essentially just text and they're actually for um, landscape billboards, whereas the billboards I wanted in New York were a portrait. So uh, that's why I went ahead and had someone design it. You know, you could use a website like Fiverr.com uh, or something like that, where I'm sure you could go and get a really nice billboard design if you give them the dimensions and tell them what you would like. Finally, they review the billboard that you've created. So Blip will go ahead and review it, make sure that you know it meets all their terms and conditions, that it's something they can put out to the public, that there's nothing you know, on there that shouldn't be. And then once they've approved it and they're happy with it, I think that took around two days for me, but I think they quote as much as three to four working days to get the billboard reviewed. Then of course they will get the billboard live and it will start running. And then once that's been approved, you can play around with the schedule after that. So I actually made a few changes to my bids, to the schedule, um, once they had already approved the advert. So in terms of the results from the billboard, I got 2,802 impressions and I spent $250. So I did it on one day, really just to test it out and see how it works and see how beneficial it would be. That means that I spent less than one penny per impression, which is really, really cheap marketing and cheap advertising. So as you can see that is an incredible return for the amount of money that you spent. Now, how many sales and inquiries will we get off the back of that? Well, we shall see. We're probably gonna experiment with this a little bit more, play around with it some more and see how it works in the long term. Ultimately, a lot of these types of marketing strategies, it can be hard to quantify because someone might you know, see that advert in Times Square, they might then Google it when they get home. And then of course, when we get the inquiry, we might look and say, oh, that came from Google, when really it was actually from someone seeing the billboard. So they can be hard to trace it back if you like, but I think this is an incredible opportunity for authors, business owners, whoever may be who's looking to promote something. I would really investigate blip billboards, have a look. This video I should add is, is not sponsored by them in any way. I just think it's a really amazing tool and it all came from an author user Using this as a way to promote their book, which is why I think it's such a great thing for authors to be looking at as well. The other added benefit is the content that has come off the back of it. So we'll be sharing this, you know, across our social media channels. We already have been. And so by doing that, that has created a huge amount of interest and it's something for us to talk about and share. So it's not just the initial spend on the marketing, but it's created a bit of a story around 
the marketing as well. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. It helps more authors to see this video and more individuals to see this video who may enjoy it and get value. Make sure to follow me on social media and I look forward to seeing you back on the channel.